Hola. Let's see. Hola. Hey guys, welcome to Miss Serenity Oasis. I am Miss Serenity, your favorite spir spiritual advisor. Damn, I can't even talk. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Happy full moon. Happy full moon, guys. I'm so happy that you guys are here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Nathan says hello. Hola. And Nathan, don't forget to like, follow, and share my page. Share this video. Share, share, share. And like and follow my page on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and also subscribe to my YouTube. It is at Miss Serenity Oasis, spelled exactly how my name is above. All together, across all platforms, okay? Guys, what is going on? Did you guys miss me? I haven't been on live like in a whole entire week. I have not been on live. Where are you guys from? What are you guys doing? Let me get in your business right quick. And also, I'm going to pin my social media information to the comments because you know what? We're going to go on Instagram shortly. We're going to take a field trip shortly, guys. Shortly, we are going to take a field trip, so bear with me, because I got some really, really important stuff to tell you guys, though, first and foremost. Hold on a second. Let me just pin this. I'm having such a chill night. It's a full moon, and you guys know how I am with the moon, and I have been doing different full moon rituals all day long. I've been doing um, cleansing myself, cleansing my home, cleansing spiritual items. So today has definitely been a very, very busy day, but very productive also at the same damn time. So that's always a good thing. And guys, I wanted to know if you guys wanted to do a full moon ritual tonight together on live. Hold on just a second. Okay, hold on a second, guys. And if you are just joining me, good evening. Welcome to Miss Serenity Oasis. I am Miss Serenity, your favorite spiritual advisor. Okay, so I just pinned my Instagram name, which is actually my name across all social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube because I have uploaded plenty of videos and I still will be making and uploading even more videos. So listen, if you guys are really into spirituality and you like the complimentary readings, you like tarot readings, you like tarot, you like oracle readings, um, if you want to learn more about spirituality honoring your ancestors, connecting with your ancestors, unfolding your spiritual gifts as well, then you will definitely, definitely, definitely love my YouTube channel. So please do not forget to subscribe. It's at Miss Serenity Oasis. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what's going on. Let me see who is in here this evening. Please do not forget to tell me where you are from. And let me tell you guys something. I know I always ask you where you're from. Just keep in mind that the way my memory is set up, because I deal with so many people on a daily basis, I can't remember everything. You can tell me yesterday that you were from Georgia, and sweetheart, I may not remember today. So please forgive me. Do not take it personal. Also, for you guys that are new here, I am Miss Serenity, and I like to be referred to as Miss Serenity or Serenity. I don't like all the pet names. I don't like to be called Babe and Baby and Bay or anything. Oh, especially not sis. Like, let me be real with y'all. Y'all don't understand how much I strongly dislike being called sis. Okay, like I I dealt with it in the past because I'm like, I understand that that's just something that people like to call each other out here on these streets. But I just do not prefer to be called anything besides Miss Serenity or Serenity Oasis. So 
when you call me anything else and I correct you, please do not take it personal, okay? Because y'all humans take everything personal. It's nothing personal. It's just a preference. And if you have a preference of what you would like for me to call you, then I am absolutely fine with that, okay? Guys, listen. I have had such a spiritual weekend and such a eventful weekend um, with spirit. It has been so beautiful, I promise you. So also, if you want to join me on my live and talk face to face, please feel free to send me a request or comment below and I will add you to my live. Okay, so let me go and see who's in here because you guys know I'm not rude as hell and I love to speak and I love when you guys speak back to me. So let's see what's going on. And if you've already shared my video, thank you very much. But if you have not, do not forget to like and share this video, okay? So, okay, Bella Rose says, hey, Miss Serenity Oasis. Hola, hey, Bella, what's up, boo? Kashana says, hola, hola, Kashana. Nathan says, hello, hola, hello, Nathan. Nay, Nay says hola, and they gave me some hearts. Hello, Nay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Jamie. Hola, Sierra. Thank you so much for the flower, Sierra. Sierra. Hola. Okay, so Jamie says I desperately have a question. Jamie, I completely understand that, but Jamie, you know how this goes, and I'm here greeting everyone and welcoming you guys into my space. And when I'm welcoming my guests into my space, you know, patience is required. We're not talking about questions right now. We're not doing questions right now. I have not seen you guys in a whole entire week. And um, I need y'all to act like y'all miss me because if you just have a question desperately bad, then you know how to contact me, DM me on Instagram and, you know, schedule an appointment or pay for the three questions and you know, I got you. But until then, when I'm on my live and I'm greeting everyone, you know, you got to let me greet everyone. Come on. You already know this. So Desiree says, hola. Hola. Hey, Desiree. All right. So Jamie says, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Jamie. Merry Christmas to you as well. Desiree, thank you so much for sharing. Sierra says, Merry Christmas. You guys are a whole week early, but I will definitely accept that now. Thank you so very much. What does Christmas mean to you guys? Felicia, hola. So Felicia says, hola, Valde Valdosta, Georgia. Got you, got you, got you. Desiree says, happy holidays to everyone on here, Miss Serenity. Yes, happy holidays to all of you guys, no matter what it is that you believe in, no matter what it is that you celebrate, you know, just look at it as a occasion to pretty much, let me tell you guys how I look at holidays, okay? Because I know people in the woke community, you know, the super woke, the super woke police, you know, the super duper woke that likes to make sure that everyone knows and understands that they do not celebrate holidays whatsoever. Let me tell you something. A lot of super woke individuals be fake as fuck. And I'm going to tell you why they be fake as fuck. Okay, because they're so super woke that it's like, I don't celebrate the white man's holiday. Or they may not say that, but they may say like, I don't celebrate this holiday, whatever, whatever. Um because of the meaning behind it, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something, let's be honest. Most people who are celebrating this holiday is not celebrating it because of the meaning behind it, even if it's Santa Claus, okay? So if it's Christmas and it's Santa Claus or the birth of Jesus, realistically, most people are not celebrating it for that reason, okay? Now, if they're religious, they may be, oh God, this is the birth of Jesus. But at the end of the day, they still talking about Santa Claus. They're still giving gifts to other people and they're still doing it for the fun at the end of the day. You see what I mean? So I look at it as I'm not celebrating it for the reason that's behind it. Just look at it as another day to actually spend time, quality time with family and friends, have a good meal, exchange and receive gifts, and just to feel that love of family, friends, or whatever it is that the season brings to you. 
just look at it that way. You don't have to look at it like, oh my God, you know, because this is, they're saying that this is the day that Jesus was born and I don't believe in Jesus. Listen, I don't participate in, you know, religious things and I don't believe in Jesus. I don't sit here on Christmas like, oh God, this is the day that Jesus was born and I need to have Jesus in a manger with Mary, Mark, Luke, Peter, John, and Joseph, you know, with our angel michael no 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 i mean honestly these holidays are really another day like i even hold my birthday at a higher standard than most of these holidays out here because we all know that they're man-made days however if it gives you the opportunity to spend time with family and friends that you don't normally spend time with then take it just take it just look at it like okay well this is because of this specific day it's a tradition for all of us to come together so look at it that way you just have to look at it from a different standpoint and not just be so sour about everything because some people that are super woke are just so sour about everything it's like damn yeah some of y'all need to go back to religion can i tell y'all that um the super woke community that's super woke some of y'all are very like you still have a religious mindset because you're so judgmental like people that are super woke they judge everything that any other spiritualists do for instance let me give you an example me sitting here right now with the wig on that is blue and purple or maybe blue and pink on a different day or maybe just purple or maybe just blue like the super woke community is like oh you know I don't put weave in my hair. I don't do this and that. Yeah, because you still have those religious, like you're in, you know, you can't be woke if you do whatever, whatever. You can't be a spiritualist if you do whatever. All these rules and restrictions. See, spirituality don't involve all of these rules and restrictions whatsoever. You live and you let live. As long as you're not harming yourself, others, children, um, elderly, animals, then it's all good. You know, it really is. We're not judging you because you're wearing makeup. We're not judging you because you're twerking. Like, we are all still spiritual beings having a human experience, okay? No matter how spiritual we are. And we are all on different paths and different journeys. Your path may require you to grow locks. Your path may require you to be completely natural. You know, it just depends on the path you're on. But there's a lot of people in the super woke community that literally they think that they are still living because they were raised Christian. Most of them that are like that. I was raised Christian too, but come on, stop it. Okay, so Tashay says, Cleveland, Ohio. Hola. Sierra's from North Carolina. Okay. So let me see, let me see, let me see. Bella Rose says, Felicia Campbell, small world. I'm from Willacoochee, but in North Carolina. Girl, where is Willacoochee? And I know I had to read that again to make sure I was saying it correctly. And I am. Willacoochee. I'm guessing that's in Georgia. I know that's a small town. Okay, so Desiree says, happy holidays to everyone here. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Ed Lee, Ed Lee Ventura says, hola. Oh, no, she doesn't. She says, hello. Hola, hello, boo. What's going on, Felicia? So Ed Lee Ventura says, it's a pleasure to see you. Ooh, well, you can come and also join my live. And I can see you too. So Sierra says, I do miss you. I miss you guys too. And let me tell you guys something. So my Facebook inbox, it is still down. So if you have sent me a message on my in my Facebook inbox on my business page, please understand that I can see it. However, I cannot respond to it. So you have to follow me on Instagram and DM me on Instagram. Or if you already have my number, Please feel free to send me a text if you are trying to book a session, okay? Please keep in mind, I do not do complimentary readings in my inbox. Once you get in my inbox, it is for business purposes only. So once you're in my inbox, if you want a reading or a session, yes, you will have to pay for it. And full payment is required before each and every tarot card session is scheduled, okay? <clears throat> 
If I have not received your full payment, I'm not even adding you to my schedule. So if I tell you that my next available appointment is Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern, and you say, oh yeah, that'll work for me, but you don't see your payment, that is not your, that is not your appointment time. If the next person come after you five minutes later and asks me and they send the money, I am giving that time to them, okay? Because let me tell y'all something. I am not gonna let y'all waste my time. Listen, a few years ago when I used to say, oh yeah, you know, I can do it tomorrow at 2 p.m. And tomorrow at 2 p.m. gets here and I don't hear from y'all and I could have told somebody else that time and I'm sitting here wasting my... No, I don't waste time like that. So yes, full payment is required prior to... Um, your session being scheduled and no I do not have same-day appointments available usually I do not okay also emergency sessions are an additional fee $30 additional fee other than that usually I do not have same-day appointments available that is because I am already scheduled and I'm already booked so whatever day and time I give you that is my next available appointment and all I can suggest is just being patient because It'll definitely be worth the wait, trust me. Desiree says, I'm so happy to see you back. We miss you, thank you so much. I had such a busy week. So, at least says, they be the main ones. Okay, so Desiree says, Christmas means giving and coming together as a family reunion and cherishing everyone around you, being thankful. Yes, all of that. You know, whatever Christmas means to you, that's what you have to make it, honestly. Sierra says, being with my family and friends and to bring love amongst each other, being with my being with, I don't know what the last thing you're saying, you're saying BBWD, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I know it's a typo, but just clarify. Okay, so Sierra says, being with my family and friends, that's the best part about the holidays, honestly, is being with the people that you really love and seeing people that you haven't seen in a while because, you know, you have friends that are going to take off for the holiday season just to come see you. So you may not get to see each other often or frequently after someone has moved, but because of the holidays, it gives them a reason to come spend time together and to enjoy a good meal together and have some good laughs and create some more memories. That's just how you have to look at it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so, um, <laughs> Ed Lee Ventura says, where is the coochie? It was Willa Coochie, I'm guessing Georgia. I don't know. I've never been there, never heard of it. Felicia says, yes, it's really small. Okay, got you. So, it's a small town, I'm guessing in Georgia. Ed Lee Ventura says, run the coins. Yes, yes, full payment is required, first and foremost. If there's no full payment, you do not have a session. It's really just that simple. Okay, so Ed Lee Ventura says, no pay, no confirmation. Exactly. If you have not paid, I cannot add you to my schedule, and it's just that simple. And if you come to me later on in the day or the next day, that, sp that spot may not be available anymore, okay? Guys, do not forget to like and follow my page and to share my videos. And if you're just coming in, welcome to Miss Serenity Oasis. I am Miss Serenity, your favorite spiritual advisor. And I'm happy that you're here with me tonight. And like I was saying earlier, my messenger is down. So please do not message me on here. I will let you guys know when it's back up. Okay, I promise you. However, I'm not ignoring your messages. You have to add me on Instagram and DM me on Instagram. Or if you have my number, please feel free to text me. Okay, so at Leaving Tour says it will be worth it. Trust me. Yes, for sure. Thank you so much, boo. Sierra says, I'm sorry, typing too fast. Girl, I completely understand. It is all good. Alicia, oh my. Hey, Alicia, what's going on? What are you up to? Are you at work or are you off tonight? <clears throat> Guys, it is a full, night, a full moon night. Listen, I wanna know if you guys are interested and doing a full moon ritual tonight. Let me know if you're interested. If you wanna do a full moon in, um, ritual tonight, live with me. I don't, not meaning you have to go live to do it, but what I'm saying is, I'm gonna come back on here a little bit later on, on live, and I'll show you guys how to do a very simple full moon ritual. Tonight is a full moon, and the full moon is the perfect time to pretty much like release 
release a lot of different things, things that no longer serve you, bad habits, all of that good shit. So if you're interested or if you want to, then type below and let me know. Say, I do, I do, I do, I do. And I'll come back on. It depends on how many people I have though. So make sure that you share this video. And if you want to learn how to do a very simple full moon ritual so that you can do it tonight, let me know down below. <clears throat> so Alicia says working. Got you, got you, got you. Desiree says I do. Sounds good. And don't forget to share this video too. And if you've already shared, then thank you very much. <clears throat> yes, because this will be a perfect night for a full moon ritual, guys. It definitely will be. Desiree says, I share it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So also, because it's a full moon, if you guys have any type of spiritual items or spiritual tools, please do not forget to um, cleanse them and to charge them in the full moon. Don't forget to charge them in the full moon. Earlier, I spent earlier cleansing um, a lot of my spiritual tools. I'm not done yet. I still have more things to cleanse, but I like to cleanse them really well. You can cleanse your spiritual tools with sage or you can cleanse them with the incense. Like, for instance, this is white sage incense. Let me show you guys. Shit. Okay. It's okay. Here it is. So this is white sage incense. You can even light a white sage incense and use the smoke from the incense to cleanse your spiritual items. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you have a crystal, which is an amethyst. You just use the smoke to cleanse the crystal. And you want to speak something like, I remove all negative spirits, all negative energy, all negative vibrations, all low vibrational energy and entities to be completely removed from this crystal. You know, whatever it is that your heart is led to speak over um, this crystal while you are cleansing it. So you pretty much can use the sage smoke to cleanse your spiritual items if you have actual sage which I have sage, but I don't have any on my desk at the moment. You can use sage and you can cleanse your spiritual items with the sage. Uh, if you have Palo Santo, this is an actual Palo Santo stick. You can use this to cleanse your spiritual tools and your spiritual items, but you want to cleanse them and put them outside under the full moonlight as long as it's not raining outside, okay? Or as long as it's not going to rain. Or you can leave it in the windowsill. Leave it in the windowsill, a window that you know is going to get some direct um, moonlight in that window. Put your spiritual items in a window. Or if you can leave them outside on the patio. And just get them before the sunrise. Even if you have to set your alarm clock to get up a little earlier to uh, go and get your spiritual tools. But I have a lot of my spiritual tools charging right now in the windowsill. So most of my crystals that I normally have on my desk are there. Um, my tarot, card, tarot cards and my oracle cards are in the window. These are the only cards that I left on my desk because I am going to use them tonight to give you guys some complimentary readings. But after I'm done with this, I am definitely going to put these in the windowsill and I'm going to let them charge too. Because charging in the full moonlight, it gives it that extra energy. It's like a pretty much like charging it up pretty much okay it's making the energy more powerful more stronger from the spiritual item and the spiritual tool especially if it's something that you use all the time or on a regular basis so you guys see like all of my crystals that i have on my wrist i am definitely going to be taking these off i'm going to cleanse them and i am going to put them in the windowsill as well what i am off of this live and i have a couple of other crystals on my desk that I'm gonna do the same thing with. You know, I'm gonna have to go through my purse and uh, get the crystals out of there. So listen, 
there's a whole lot of things for you guys to be doing and this is the last full moon of the year so you also want to use this full moon energy to create how 2020 is going to go in your life you know you want to manifest whatever it is that you desire in 2020 too which is literally just about two weeks away so y'all have a lot of work to do you know if i were you i would definitely be going through things in my home um discarding things that are no longer useful releasing what no longer serves you in your life inside of your home inside of your closet old clothes that you're not wearing get rid of donate them old furniture that has no use donate it get rid of it as well there are so many things that you you can do going into 2022 because you don't want to take anything in, into the next year that no longer serves you so listen i asked the question the other day and i asked do you guys have any new year's rituals that you do if you do please share them below I had someone that told me on my other page that they had a ritual of they put two dollars underneath their mat of their door from I believe it was December the 31st up until January the 3rd if I'm not mistaken and when I asked her why she did that she told me that um, I believe her husband's mother or grandmother told her that you have to pretty much start the new year with money underneath your mat and that will symbolize two dollars to be exact is what she said that will symbolize like money always coming into your home and you always being able to pay your bills no matter what and she said ever, she's done it ever since and she said ever since like you know she's always been able to stay afloat during those times where she was unsure how she was going to make it so if you have any new year's rituals that you do please be sure to drop them below share 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 <clears throat> i like to hear all the new stuff and guys do not forget do not forget do not forget to go and follow my youtube my twitter my um tiktok because i'm having so much fun on tiktok y'all and subscribe to my youtube channel it's at miss serenity oasis all across the board and do not forget that tonight we are going to be doing complimentary one card readings over on my instagram page because remember when i told you guys i'm going to be doing live readings on instagram this is the time so make sure we're taking a field trip tonight make sure that you have liked and follow my instagram page and make sure that once you get over to my Instagram page and I am on live that you repost my video. And if you don't know how to repost a video on you on Instagram, then go to YouTube and learn. Okay? You have to get a whole nother app, which is called the repost app, to do so. But we are going to be going over shortly to Instagram because that's where I will be doing the complimentary one card reading for those who have liked, followed, and shared. Also, last but not least, guys, listen, 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 listen. Because I had such an extremely busy week, I was doing things around my house and taking care of personal business and doing spiritual things for myself, pretty much on a hiatus. Um, the raffle was postponed. So if you have not yet been able to participate in the raffle or if you are new here, I am having a raffle for a complimentary, a completely free full tarot card reading with me, which is my extended insightful session. It's usually $75 for one hour of one-on-one -on -one time with me to see exactly what spirit wants you to know, to look at your love life and also your career and your finances, okay? You do not want to miss out on this raffle. So if you want to participate in this raffle, guess what? You still have time to do so. What you're going to have to do is yes you have to do some work no i cannot spoon feed you no i cannot hand it to you you gotta work for this raffle so you have to go down scroll down scroll all the way back maybe about one week or either just go to my videos and look for the video that is explaining the rules to the raffle okay 
there are rules to this raffle. So look for that video, follow the instructions, and best wishes to you because I will be announcing the winner on live on Tuesday at 6 p.m. on my Instagram. And for everyone that has already participated, thank you so much for your participation in our Christmas raffle. And I look forward to doing way more raffles in the future. But like I said, guys, we are going to go on over to Instagram and we're going to be doing the complimentary one card readings over on Instagram. For those of you who want to join me face to face live on IG, please be sure to come on over. Anywho, guys, give me about a good 10 minutes and I'll be over on IG. I have down below my Instagram name so that you can follow me and make you sure that you will not miss out on the notifications of when I am going live now I know I'll be having a couple of my clients that are not too um, social media savvy so if you want to know how to join my live on IG just go to met at Miss Serenity Oasis and click on my profile picture and it will show you my life when I am live, which will be shortly within the next 10 minutes. Guess what, guys? I look forward to seeing you over there. I love you guys. See you soon.